Well, we have money. And money is something that we've not had a whole lot of before, but we're sitting at $315,000. We're making almost $8,000 every however often. And that's good. That's very good. Druidstone is making, you know, a solid $11,000. That's great. Hessenfoot, not so much. Hessenfoot is still losing money, and I feel like Hessenfoot is the source of a lot of our problems because it's losing money. Last Bernanderas is making a little bit. Uh, down here is still losing money, and up here is probably not doing much either at the moment. Chuzzle Witch, really, really not going to be doing much for me. It is full of fish, though, which is interesting. We can also give it a fire station. We can give it a... Do we have bricks on this island? I don't think we do. We do not. So we can give it one police station. And then we need to bring a lot of bricks over here. So we're going to need to bring, I believe, two churches. There's 25 bricks. One police station is an additional 10. So 60 bricks need to be brought up to Chuzzle Witch there. We can do that, though. We can go ahead and load up the Coconut Queen with a bunch of bricks. We'll do... Let's do 150, since the island can actually produce its own. And we'll take those up to Chuzzle Witch. You might notice, by the way, I did a little bit of work around here. Yeah, we are not going to be accepting that. I did a little bit of work around my port here. There are a lot more guns, and everything's a little bit more squared off and good looking. So that's hopefully going to, you know, protect us against any potential wars that might come up. I also put in, I think, another one or two depots. I don't remember off the top of my head, but our storage can now go up to 700, so that's nice, I suppose. Having a bit of a look about Druidstone, uh, we my do still have destroyed. some issues. Canned food isn't great. Light bulbs are kind of a basic need for these guys as well, and to make light bulbs, we need... Well, what do we need? We need filament. Filament is made from coal, I guess? I mean, we could do that. It's a little bit expensive up front, and it's quite expensive to run, but then just a light bulb factory on top of that. I mean, we can build both, I suppose. Really might not be a terrible idea to start looking into it. Let's give it a shot. Let's build a filament factory, and then a light bulb factory can go... Actually, I really want to move that, if I'm totally honest. I'd really like to relocate the filament factory all the way down here because we actually have a pretty good space for it oh it doesn't work of course it doesn't i can make that work though i can i can definitely make that work hold on let's change this up a little bit so this is going to come across and down here and then we can get rid of you and then the filament factory can go into that space so if we come back up here we want to grab the filament factory we want to move it down into that space. It's not it's not perfect, but it does the job. It keeps it out of the way and stops more pollution from going on up there. And then the light bulb factory can, I guess, go back there or back there. It could actually go in there pretty well, I think. So, yeah, let's put a light bulb factory back there with some paths sort of going up in front of it and around like that. And I think that looks okay. So that'll give us light bulbs that we absolutely do need. We could throw, I guess, flower beds in there. Just make the area look a little bit nicer. Not that we really need them. But, you know, that looks okay to me. And that'll be light bulb production. We might need more glass. Looking at it, there is a solid chance. What is this? A destruction quest. You know what? I will do it. What do you need me to do? Destroy a frigate. That frigate is right there. The frigate is already taking damage, apparently. Yeah. My island's firing at it. Tell you what we'll do. Let me grab those and send them up to attack the frigate. Honestly, might not need it. The frigate is taking a beating from my island, and I think... Honestly, I think my island itself is going to win here. Yeah, yeah, that looks like a solid, absolutely. Fair enough. Well, let's send these two boats back to port. What did I just do? Oh, they're all on the way back. Okay, that's fair enough. 
Let me get the flagship. Wait, where do I... Where was where was proof of that? There's proof of it there. Okay. Let me go pick up all of that with the, uh, with the flagship. I think that's the... Yeah, that's the flagship there. So we'll go do that. Then we'll deliver the proof of the destruction. And we'll get some free money. And let's be honest, free money is the best kind of money. So that's why we're going to be getting free money right there. If the flagship would hurry up a little bit, that is. Go on, fella. Pick all that up. Pick it all up. What do you got? Nope, nope. Pick it up. There we go. Proof of destruction. Let's bring it back to here and get it delivered. And let's see then. So, is this actually working? It is. And it is going to be producing light bulbs, which is interesting. This could also use electricity, now that I think about it. We absolutely should try and get an oil power plant in here. So, what I'm thinking is right there. And I'm thinking train tracks like this, I guess. Gave me a fright. So straight across and down to there. And that should give us power to make that thing a bit faster. Uh, let's see. Yep. Turn that in. I decide when I die. And then we need to defeat the pirates as well. Now, the pirates are heading south. Let me grab my boats and send them up to attack the pirates as quick as we can. I'm hoping that uh, the pirates will get taken out by barrel, because I'm not sure we can catch them. But we'll absolutely find out. Let's let's get over here. We have that little boat there. Oh, the pirates might actually get away with this. There is a solid chance my boats might not be able to intercept. Oh no, there's barrel. All right, yeah, and then. Barrel's got a port done here as well with a lot of guns. Yeah, I don't think the pirates are ever getting back there, to be totally honest. I, I don't think it's going to happen. Are my boats anywhere to be seen? Oh, wow. Yeah, Barrel's port is just opening fire. Barrel's kind of relentless, it seems. There's one of my boats, at least, and there's the pirates gone. Okay. Let's bring my boats home. It looks like we're never going to need to worry about pirates. That's good. And let's see, then, if I can be a bit cheeky here. Game safe. I can upgrade some engineers. I can upgrade quite a few engineers. Boom! You reach a new milestone. Oh, look at that. The age of big business. We have investors who are angry because they don't have cigars. They don't have chocolate. They don't have steam carriages. Yeah. I wonder why they're annoyed. So what can we do? The World's Fair Foundations. Oh my god, it's huge. Uh, where are we going to build this? We don't really have any room for this. It's way too big. We could get rid of some of these guys, but I don't know about that. What do we got? Champagne. So we need... Wait, can we, can we have a vineyard here? We can. Oh, we can get champagne here. That's good. And fountain plazas and gazebo plazas and cigars, etc, etc. We don't even have the bank yet. We kind of need that. Can I upgrade, like, I don't know, you guys? There we go. Your harbor is Wait, under what? Attack. Hello? Where? Oh, it's just pirates over here. That's fine. Speaking of over here, can we... Oh, yes, we can build... We can build ships over here. Okay. Give me a ship of the line. Give me a ship of the line. Give me two of them. That'll keep us nicely defended. And let's head back to the old world. So... We still need more engineers. Oh, that makes it tricky. We do not have a lot of room around here. We don't. We don't have a lot of room left in this island. Like, Druidstone is, is just so populated. There's so many farmers, and they're all needed as well. We have so much farming going on. I really need to start using my other islands to, su like, support Druidstone. I feel like the long-term goal here should be to have Druidstone uh, become, like, completely devoid of farming, right? I feel like we shouldn't even need farmers in Druidstone and instead should just be moving items to it from my other islands. But, you know, that might take a while. In terms of Hessenfoot, though, it is still losing money. You are making plenty of clothes. That's fine. I guess maintenance here is just quite high. 
And also, in the grand scheme of things, the number of uh, workers on Hessenfoot is actually... Like, it's decent, but they want sausage, and then if I can get... I think if I can get artisans here, that'll turn Hessenfoot around. But to do that, they kind of need sausage, and they do not have sausage. They do have a decent population of pigs, but still not necessarily enough to support the amount of, well, sausage that I imagine they want. So, I'm debating the best way to get a bit more sausage in here. It's kind of weird saying sausage over and over again, I'm going to be honest. A little bit weird, but whatever. I suppose what we could do is throw a bunch more pig farms in here. So, like, throw them on this side of the road. So, let's, let's give this a shot. Let's do... I think the pig farms can go there, if I'm not mistaken. And then I can do one, two, three, four, and five. And basically do a bunch of these. And this is that, I think this is the layout we find before, isn't it? So this is, this is totally going to work. Uh, if we leave a little gap there and there as well, we can basically... Just throw all of these pig farms in. We'll hopefully get more sausage off of this. We'll hopefully then be able to upgrade. I'm really hoping we can upgrade to uh, artisans on Hessen Foot. This wasn't really the plan for this island, you might remember. But I'm hoping this works out. Yeah, we are We are not doing non-aggression. You haven't taught me anything. Get out of here. Let's also wrap that around there, just because I can. And yeah, that'll hopefully give us enough pigs. I mean, we have a lot. We don't have enough, though. Wait, really? Again? What's attacking it? Oh, they're attacking it. Oh, whatever. That's fine. I'm not, not going to worry too much about that. So let's see. We need more farmers on Hessenfoot, which is, again, just a great name, but really weird to say over and over again. We'll throw some farmers in there. We could absolutely throw some farmers into there as well. Which is a little bit tightly packed, but that's all right, I guess. And sort of bring them over like that or whatever. That'll hopefully increase the population enough to get the new pig farms working. And then hopefully we'll see some profits here at some point as well. In terms of getting sausage, though... I reckon we could... Let me let me actually check something here. What is... The, how much sausage do we have here? So we have almost maxed out the amount of sausage we have on Druidstone. We could then maybe use one of our trade routes that go from here. So what do they do? They load up on Hessenfoot. Okay. Let's load up on sausage. And then unload it in Hessenfoot. And they wait on Hessenfoot for goods. That's tricky, but that's okay. Let's just accept the deal. They can move sausage over to Hessenfoot. That should be okay. And that'll cheer them up a bit, I'd imagine. I'm a little bit worried about, you know, production of sausage then declining a little bit here in Druidstone. But I think we'll manage, I'm sure. I'm just, I'm also a little concerned. Wait. Oh. Oh, wait. Barrel has overtaken an island. Interesting. We've actually, so investors are actually the top tier. Interesting. Okay. I mean, I kind of figured they would be, but interesting. Oh, that's exciting. I didn't realize that that was like, we, we're reaching. Oh my God. I say we're reaching end game. And then I look at Barrel. I say we're doing anything interesting, and I look at Beryl, and it's just depressing. Like, she just, just this, like, the banks, the theaters, the members club, the everything, the Dolphinarium, Beryl, settled on. She hasn't even used all of her land. Her island is huge. What's the population here? I wish I could see it. Does it tell me? No, it doesn't. I really wish I could see it. 1.5 million coins to buy some shares in this island. Ship constructed. That is terrifying. That is terrifying. That is so much. Beryl is, uh... 
actually, you know what? Looking at her island, I'm realizing she's done what I want to do. She's outsourced all of the food production. There's no fisheries here. There's no wheat here. She's outsourced all of it. So up here, these are what? Vineyards? So this is where she's making wine, I guess? Ship under attack. One of my ships is under attack, really? I don't see that going very well. Gonna be honest. Oh, that is that is actually really, really interesting though. So she's done exactly what I what I thought I should do. Let me see, what's up with this? Rivals Island conquered. I'm not too worried. Let me do a bit of bonus money there. People won't really like it, but okay. I think it's fair to say then that we could go to this island. Let me have a little look. Investors. So champagne. Sand mines are worked by workers. The vineyard is worked by farmers. Obviously glass. So what? Okay. We could straight up make... Okay, we can't necessarily do champagne here, but we could make the glass and the the grapes and then move them to a vineyard on Druidstone. We could totally do that. Okay. That's got me kind of interesting. Uh, interested, rather. That's made me... Uh, that made things interesting is what I kind of meant to say there, but whatever. Uh, let's do that. We are going to go crazy on glass production on Las Bernanderas. I think this might be a good idea. Let's do a small warehouse there. And we'll upgrade that whenever we can. They are going to need bricks to do that. But what else can we do? So, vineyard. Angry I destroyed one of the ships. Oh, well. So, vineyard. Let me see. We have a lot of room back here for a vineyard. Is what I'm thinking. So, let's do there. I think we will do a glass makers beside this. Maybe. No. Maybe we just. No, I think we will. I think we will do a glass makers here. In fact, I think we're going to do two of them. We'll wrap some roads around it. As we do. So bring that through there. Bring that down there and there. Okay. Fields might help. So 128. Can I just go straight back with this? I absolutely can. Yeah, I like this idea. I actually really like this idea. So do that. Do that and do that. That should be more than enough in terms of vineyards. I am going to need to get artisans on this island, which is going to be slightly tricky because this island is kind of supposed to be a supporting island. Unless I build a commuter pier. Wait, he sunk one of my ships? What? Oh, wow. What are you doing up there? Go back to port. Or or zone. That's good, too. Okay, well, I just built those, so that's great. Can we maybe build guns around here? Like mounted guns in the harbor? That seems like it might be a good idea. Uh, cannon towers. That actually seems like it would be really good, too. Let's put a cannon tower there. And let's put a cannon tower, I guess, like, in there is probably a good spot. We could do one there as well. We'll do a couple of cannon towers just to, you know, keep things safe. And uh, that'll probably deter pirates from trying to do that again. The fire is out I just control. built those, which is annoying, but whatever. Uh, Druidstone's having a rough time as well. Druidstone's having a very rough time. I'm going to continue to ignore that, though, because I'm kind of more interested in what we can do over here. So these guys are going to need steel. They are going to need bricks. That's fine. These guys are going to need bricks as well. That's also fine. The vineyards are up and running. The So let's see. Artisans. What do we need for artisans in this island? So we can't upgrade these guys yet. The I reason we can't do that is they don't have soap. They don't necessarily have enough sausage or bread, and they don't have a school. So, oh, there's a school right in there. It needs bricks. It needs steel. 
And then soap is going to be its own issue. Do we have much soap on Druidstone? That's kind of the question. I'm not sure we do. We have 698. Okay. Do we have a trade route going to Las Bonanderas? I'd very much like to know. I could swear we do. Yeah. So Druidstone load up on soap and then unload up there. Except that will do. There are some ruins down here, apparently. There absolutely are. So let's get those all fixed. And I'm pretty sure that moving soap up to Las Bernanderas is going to do us a few favors. What I would like to do, though, is move you into the coast a little bit. Let me load you up with... Oh, you're still loaded with bricks. Interesting. Let me take some of those out. And let me load you up with steel beams. And let me take those steel beams up to Las Bernanderas. And hopefully we can do some good things. We can get that school. We can get that soap. We can get the whatever else they needed. Sausage, bread, etc., etc. Uh, let me see. So sausage production is there. There's a lot of pigs. There's not a lot of sausage. It looks like we're only making sausage in one building. That'll be why. That's fine. In terms of bread, are we making bread here? It's kind of hard to tell. We absolutely are, but there's only one facility for it, and there is a lot of grain. In fact, bread is not even being made. It might be getting shipped here, but that's... Yeah, that'll be why this island is not doing so good. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let me unload all of this onto the island. Let me build one of you let me build that school let me build that bakery let me build a glass makers and another slaughterhouse or two still have a decent number of bricks build another one of you we don't have artisans that's honestly okay this right here can get up and working this can get up and working Still have a decent number of bricks. So build you, build you. And I guess, I think everything here is built at this point. We just need the artisans. So we can actually do that right there. Get some artisans. We're not necessarily going to have enough. But that's a start at least. Uh, we can actually upgrade one of you as well. Actually, do we have enough? I think we do. We... No, we don't. We don't have enough artisans. That's okay. We're only at minus 17, though. So that's going to... Uh, that will improve. Absolutely will improve. We just need sausage and bread. So I'm thinking... Anytime now... We might see a little bit of an upgrade. Uh, this is also going to need upgraded as well. Not going to worry too much. Let me see. Lack of artisanship. Yeah, I don't like that. Let me swap that out. And let me swap that out for a very slight bonus. We are now doing pretty bad there, but that's fine. We'll make it work. You guys... Oh, are you ready to upgrade? No. Oh, we need bricks and steel. Oh! All pink to bottom, my tea. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. So we need more bricks. We need more steel. Right. Let me move you back down here and get you loaded up with all that stuff. How's Druidstone doing? It's actually not making much money at all. That's rough. You guys are also not very happy. You want coffee? We do need coffee. We really do. We can also actually see... Like, what it's worth to them by the looks of it. So, plus 21, plus 63. Yeah, so making them happy with coffee. Yeah, that's going to be good. We need to do that. We, we really, really need to get more coffee here. So, let me have a look at the new world. And let me have a look at something. We're so, they're actually full of coffee right now. So, if we were to go here and say build a depot. They don't have bricks, but, you know, we could still try. Uh, I don't know if we can do... We can do here for a depot at some point. Unfortunately, can't do there, but that's fine. We could do... 
a depot sort of there and not there, unfortunately. So I kind of don't want that one. Looks a little bit silly out there. I think I'd rather do like mounted. I'd like to do a lot of mounted guns there, actually. Let me just, let me just say that I want to do, let me see here. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, that'll keep us nice and safe. And then I guess more depots as well. So depot there. Absolutely. Unfortunately, can't do there. Uh, I can do there, though, which I like. And I'm not going to do that because it'll block things off in kind of a weird way. I can do there and there and... I guess I could do that. Looks kind of interesting. Yeah, I like that. So that'll be a bunch of depots to just expand the storage of this island, which is kind of really important. So let me have a look at you, you real quick. You are full of guns. Broke out. You're like completely full of guns. Can I have a look at your trade route, please? So, if you're not able to unload guns, you don't pick up coffee. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, let's... Let's turn off the gun deliveries for a while. Because that's not working out for us. And do we really... Are we really going to have to do what I think we're going to have to do here? And throw the guns overboard? I think we're going to. Which is annoying, because that's kind of expensive. But, you know. That is what it is, I suppose. Let's move your rally point as well. I want to move it there. The fire has been vanquished. So that'll work out. Let's speed things up a little bit. And uh, hopefully we can pick up all those guns in a decent amount of time. I'm not really worried if they despawn. We can make a lot more of them. I also really want to make these, but I need planks. I need planks, really? Apparently I need planks and bricks. So bricks are going to kind of be a big deal here. Either way, this is all going to go a long way to making this island a little bit more profitable, I think. At least, you know, I, I think might be the key word there. We'll certainly find out. Uh, let me see. So what do you guys need up here again? I believe it was bricks and steel. Okay. Let me get you loaded up with both of those things. So a bunch of steel and a bunch of bricks. Maybe not that many bricks. We'll take them up. We'll unload them. We'll have artisans and we'll be making glass, right? We absolutely will. So what do we want to do at that point? If we go back to our main island... We want to move the glass and, I guess, the vineyard. Actually, no. It's artisans that work in the champagne production. So we can actually just have champagne production on this island. Which is kind of a big deal. Your people it needs... To get sick. Oh, illness. That's bad. Oh, no. Where is it? Illness right there. We don't have a hospital. We can't build one either. We do not have the means. Oh, dear. That's very bad news. We actually technically need two of them as well because of the spread of everything. Oh, dear. Well, let's see about getting a hospital in here. Doesn't give us very good coverage. Let's then tear out those. That's not ideal, but wait, cannot demol- Oh, no. Can I demolish those? No. Can I demolish those? Yes, okay. So a hospital there. We can put some farmer residences back in there. What do we need for this? We are going to need bricks, steel, and windows. All right. Are you doing anything? You're absolutely not. Go up there, please. And give me windows. So move some windows onto that flagship. And then move the flagship up to Las Bonanderas. Let's move the resources off of here. Kind of need to do this quickly. Oh, dear. Let me see. I can't really upgrade much around here. I can upgrade you guys. There you go. It'll cheer you up a little bit. Uh, the illness hasn't spread up here yet, which is good news. Let's just do this. 
And let me get some roads in there so we can get more farmers. Oh, no. Oh, this is bad. What do we got? We just need the windows. Oh, you're here. Good. Okay. Let me unload those. Let me build the hospital. That'll hopefully help things a little bit. I really hope so. We need windows, concrete, and more bricks to do the rest of that. What is this? Commuter pier? Oh, that lets me share workers, doesn't it? Oh, that's tempting. That is very... Wait, illness is on that boat. Illness is on that boat. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's going back to Druidstone, isn't it? Well, illness is probably about to hit Druidstone, but honestly, it's better prepared for it than these guys. So, you know, best of luck to them, basically. Flagship awaiting instruction. Best of luck to them. What do you need? Concrete, windows, bricks. All right. All right, all right. Let's come back here. And let's bring you back to Druidstone as well. And I really hope this island gets sorted. I'm kind of starting to like it a little bit. It's kind of nice. We also can't upgrade this yet, but that's fine. How many, um, let me see here. Grapes. How many do we have? Grapes are doing all right. Champagne, not so much, but that's fine, I guess. Oh, please tell me. Please. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. What are you doing? What is your trade route? Fish and soap. I feel like... I feel like we can stop with the fish trade because you are full of fish right now. Your people... Ah, oh, there we go. They're cured. Fantastic. Okay. Fair enough, I guess. A little bit nerve-wracking there. Can we build a bakery? We can. All right. So this island's losing me money. Druidstone is not making much money, annoyingly. You guys are in need of coffee. So I can't build a cargo ship right now because I don't have steam motors. For steam motors, I need brass, which we have, and I need a furnace, which we, I think we have. I'm not sure how much of, you know, how much brass do we have? So brass is made down there. Brass, we have 205, right. This is quite expensive, this building. But it's also kind of useful. So what I think I want to do is I'd actually like to throw it back here if I can. Because back here I can give it electricity. Which means it'll be a little bit more efficient. So I think what we'll do is we'll actually set it right about there. And then we'll run some roads off of here. So something a bit like that. And I think that'll work for us. It actually is missing electricity. We're also missing oil. We don't have enough on this island anymore. That's worrying. We're consuming too much oil. All right. Where do we have some? Do we have some up here? I'm pretty sure one of our islands has it. I think this one. Maybe not. Okay. So this island doesn't have oil either. This is Hessenfoot, which I don't believe has oil I would have probably remembered. Down here also doesn't have oil. I swear one of my islands does. This one does. Okay. So what do we need for oil is kind of the question. So oil refineries are worked by workers. And then we need to move from the refinery to a harbor. So that increases the storage. That provides trains for transportation and allows me to store and trade oil. So basically, I would need this, right? So that could go right there. That's going to be pretty difficult to make, but that's fine. Let me get this layout at least. People are starting to get sick. So let me see. They're getting sick again, really? A ship brought illness. Of course it did. All right, so we loop this around. We can bring this path over... I mean, this island isn't even really populated yet. It's not got anything going on for it. But that's all right. So that's kind of the line we would do there. Those get linked together. We can do... Let me see. So, oil refinery goes there. 
off of the oil refinery, we have one, two, three, four. Off of that, we have trains. And the trains can sort of go out there. Can I really not? I can't lay out the... Oh, that's annoying. Okay. So what do we need for this? Steel and planks. Okay. We'll make that work. Let me just do a similar thing here with my paths. So that they kind of loop around in a nice way. I think that's what four, one, two, three, four, five is there. So we sort of loop that around. We can go off the middle like this. And we'll kind of loop our trains around and up to there. When we have that, we can start transporting oil from this island up to Druidstone. And then really hope for the best. This is going to be quite a bit of work, though. Uh, it's, re it's really going to be so much work. So we need farmers in this island, which means we need planks on this island, which means we need fish on this island. Tell you what. Let's lay out the plan for the island. I think that's all we'll do. We'll lay out a plan. So we'll have a lot of fish. And that'll be fine. We'll want a warehouse in there. So the warehouse can kind of go in the middle. And I think that'll be a pretty solid layout for, you know, all the the fish. What else are we going to need here? I think we're going to want to get our hands on some depots. I'd kind of like these to be laid out in kind of a nice way. So one, two... Oh, I don't want to do that. No, no, no. Uh, one, two... Can I do a third one? No. Okay, that's fine. And on this side, we can go one two and we can do a third one there but i think what i'd rather do is actually do guns so a cannon tower can go there Your people and a cannon tower again. can go there we'll do that in between when we get the materials in fact i was really hoping i could do a second cannon tower that's unfortunate uh, i don't think that'll fit in there either so yeah we'll just extend that not just be like a big harbor we might be able to get away with the second one. No, that's fine. But yeah, that'll give us protection there, which is good. I'll we'll have a couple of depots as well, which is good for storage. I'm actually really thinking we'll just double up on the depots as well. Just to really go in storage here. I think this will be like a, a sort of service island. I'm really liking this coastline as well. We have that one over there with this big one. So tell you what else we could do. I'm thinking repair cranes might be needed. So we could put one like right in the middle there. Which is kind of going to be a primary trade port anyway. So I think we will do that. We could almost block off that area which would be interesting. But might be a little bit excessive. We'll do that in the middle. I don't... I think we will need a pier. It'd actually be really cool I think to do a bunch of them like this. Something like that. Is it going to let me? I don't think it will let me do that one. I think that's cool, though. I like that a lot. So that'll be some extra spaces. I don't think we can get a public mooring in there, but I think we could absolutely do more depots. So one and two like that. And then what else can we throw in there? <laughs> that's, that's the question now. What else have we got? Steam shipyards. Probably a bit excessive, honestly. I don't really think I'll get away with it. Don't think I'll get a big Betty. A commuter pier? Not sure it's going to let me do that either. I could just put a lot of depots in there. I really could. Like that and that and that and that. It's a little bit excessive in terms of storage, but it's kind of cool looking. Tell you what I think we could also do. Maybe take out that one and put some guns at the end. So cannon tower and cannon tower. Yeah, I think that looks really cool, actually. We could even extend this further if we wanted to with a couple more of the uh, the cannon towers. I don't see why not. We'll extend it there. And since we're going a little bit less in terms of symmetry, we'll just do that and that as well. Oh, yeah. That's going to be a port, is what that's going to be. That's going to be insane if anyone tries to attack it. Not that anyone will. I'm pretty sure this part of the, you know, this part of the world is doing all right. 
Tortillas have run out. That's bad. We'll have to go over there and fix that. Let me get some bonus money, please. All right. Let me have a little look at the new world. What's going on here? What is this? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm not going to be doing that. These people, they need a hero. Not going to be doing that. No. Get out of here. What are you waiting on? Oh, you're waiting on cotton fabric. Really? Do we not have cotton fabric? Cotton mill. We don't. Interesting. What are we consuming it on? Sales, I assume. So sail makers. Where are the sail makers? Oh, it will be, won't it? Wait, do we have sail makers? We do. Right. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not want another one. Uh, sail makers. Yeah, we have filled that. I assume not that. Interesting. Are we consuming it elsewhere? So you guys are just maybe slow on the cotton? Be an interesting twist if that was the case. I guess we could just say, don't wait. I guess that would work. We probably don't want to move weapons out either. Uh, let's just not wait, I guess. So don't wait for goods, but do wait to unload goods. Although I guess you don't really need to wait. Okay, whatever. That's fine. So you can head back. You've got, you know, some stuff there. That's fine bit weird that we're running low on cotton fabric, though. Didn't really expect to be doing that anytime soon. Okay. Well, the good news is I guess we can go ahead and start planning this place as well. They can do bricks out here as well, which is good news. So, let me do a clay pit. And let me do... You know what? I might try and, like, micromanage this a little bit. Uh, clay pit plus I guess warehouse plus i guess a brickworks might be an idea i would imagine so a brick factory so some kind of strip like that for making bricks on this island do we have more clay we do so clay pit plus small warehouse plus a brick factory and then all we need to do around that is just run some roads and then we can run this over that way it doesn't really need a connection urgently but that's fine uh this can be run over like this and sort of around everything so that'll give us bricks in terms of housing i do kind of want to space it out a little bit i do want to try and avoid you know stupid amounts of fire so we'll do let's see i think i'll do a marketplace in here i realize you know none of the I, I do realize none of this is building this is all just like planning this is all planning all figuring it out all of that good stuff so what we'll do is farmer residences like this on either side and then I think we will go back to the idea of the sort of avenue layout. And that should stop the place from catching on fire as often. Which is, you know, that's kind of a big deal. You really don't want your new islands, you know, catching fire. So this will help with that. Uh, we are going to want firefighters in the area. So I think what we'll do is throw them up there. We are going to want pubs as well. So we'll throw a pub Let's see, there and there. I do kind of want to make sure we have policing as well. So, where could I put this? I guess in there. Or any of those spaces. I think what we'll do is policing on that side and policing on that side. We can double up the road again. And double it up on this side. Then take it out and run the police station, and that's going to give us, you know, a decent little bit of uh, policing coverage as well. And, you know, room for more houses too. So that'll be the layout for the time sensor. They're probably going to want schnapps as well. So what we can do is potatoes here, I guess. 
I guess that won't hurt, because what we can do is actually stack them back like this. And then stack them back this way as well. And we could actually just stack that across and just give them a lot of schnapps. So I think that is actually what we're going to do here. So one, uh, we'll do two. And then on this side, we'll do two as well. That'll be a lot of potatoes, a lot of schnapps, but it should be a decent amount of happiness. And it might be a way that we can move schnapps to other islands as well. Because like I said, I think what we need to do here is start getting other islands to serve as Druidstone. I think we need to get other islands that are sort of, well, yeah, essentially servicing Druidstone. Druidstone is very much our capital, so that's probably for the best. In terms of warehouses, let's do there and let's do there. I can put some grass or trees or shrubbery around all of that, which I think I will. So there we go. That should look kind of nice. What's going on here? Can I get you to not just, like, venture out? If you wouldn't mind. Like, I need you two to not do that. All right. I need you to, like, sit there. And I need you to be... Let me see here. Active defense that will seek, attack, and pursue enemy targets until they leave the area. Hold position. It will only attack enemy targets within the attack range. Will not pursue targets. That's what we want. Just sit there. All right? Attention for the Admiral. That's what I need you to do. Just sit there. Don't do anything silly. Now, where was I? I was planning the perfect city. The is what I was doing. Didn't pay. They are going to want clothes as well. So let's look for sheep farms and see where we could put those. I'm thinking... Honestly, I'm really tempted to just, like, go crazy on schnapps. But I'm thinking we'll do sheep farms. These are actually going to... They're really easy to stack, aren't they? So... Let's do... There. Actually, no. Let's not do there. Let's do a sheep farm there. And there. A fire broke out. And in those spots, too. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, these just stack super, super easily. Which means we can actually double up this as well and go for eight. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold on. Uh, boom. We want to go for eight sheep farms, I think. Has been if I can do it, that is. So, one and two and three and Game four. Save. Yeah, this will be perfect. I'm actually really excited for this. I think this might end up being, if I can populate it, if I can get everything we need, this might very well be our first proper sort of service island. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can only do seven. That's fine, I guess. So bring that straight through there. And... Yeah, I mean, seven works, I guess. Not perfect, but it'll do. Last thing we need is going to be lumberjack huts. So, let me throw those up here, I want to say. So, let's do one uh, there for 100%. That's apparently 100%. These are actually almost all 100%, which is good. I realize these also get built without needing wood to build them. So, what we'll do is run roads around them the way we always do. Get them linked together. They are not going to be feeding into a warehouse yet because we don't have wood to build a warehouse. But that's all right. Link those together. Link you. And bring you done. And then I guess our warehouse could go right about there. So what we'll do is bring a road off of here as well. That works for me. So that'll bring all that lumber into the warehouse, and then the timber gets made down here. Absolutely perfect. I realize, actually, if I built a sawmill up here, we might... No, we still don't have a warehouse. Never mind. Okay, that, to me, is a solid island. The only thing it's not going to have is a hospital... But that's... Oh, it doesn't have bread either. Oh, dear. Okay, we... We we might... We might need... We're going to need bread as well. That's fine. We'll get bread at some point. 
We'll not worry too much about it right now. There's a lot of things this island needs to do first before it gets bred.